I mean, that thing looks like it came from the future. It, I mean, it, it drives like, a, it, like, it's like driving a, you know, a, a Tesla, <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, it's fun, it looks awesome, and you know, there's, there's, there's actually a big shortage of drivers. And so if you're a, a truck driver and you want the, the most badass rig on the road, this is it. Breaker Breaker 1-9, going from 18 gears to one pedal drive. Welcome back to the Electric Rager channel. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more great content on the world of electric vehicles. Today, we're diving into the world of electric trucks, and what better way to start than with the highly anticipated Tesla Semi. Ever since its announcement in 2017, it has been the talk of the trucking industry. But with its delayed production and hefty price tag, we can't help but wonder, is the Tesla Semi really worth all the hype? Let's find out. In 2021, production delays were caused by a shortage of 4680 battery cells. However, by December of last year, deliveries began, and now Tesla plans to produce up to 50,000 units per year by 2024. And one of the early adopters is none other than PepsiCo, a major player in the North American fleet business. But there's no denying that owning a Tesla Semi comes at a price. With two versions available, offering ranges of 300 miles and 500 miles, the estimated cost of up to $180,000 is almost double that of a diesel-powered truck. So, is it worth the investment? Let's break it down. The initial cost of the Tesla Semi is undoubtedly higher, but we have to consider the long-term benefits. The lower maintenance costs of electric vehicles can be a game-changer. Elon Musk claims maintenance costs could be up to 20% lower due to factors like affordable electricity and fewer moving parts in an EV. Over time, this could indeed balance out the higher upfront cost. Critics argue and they are correct about the fact that the charging infrastructure is not yet well established for long-haul trucking, raising concerns about range anxiety. Plus, diesel-powered trucks have a well-established infrastructure, and the price difference might be hard to justify for some fleet operators. Of course as I was making this video Tesla announced that they are building a $100 million semi-truck corridor from Northern California to the Texas border. While this is a promising first step for long-haul driving there is so much more that would need to be done. While the Tesla Semi might not be ready for the average over-the-road driver it can and is serving roles in local and regional trucking operations. There are other OEMs that produce Class 8 electric trucks. Packar has the T680E which gets 150 miles of range. Also Freightliner has the Cascadia E and it gets 230 miles. While Volvo offers the VNR electric with a range of 275 miles. All legacy truck manufacturers seem to offer less range than Tesla's low-range semi. Which begs the question, will the legacy semi-truck manufacturers fall into the same trap as legacy automakers? Another aspect to consider is the environmental impact. The Tesla semi is emission-free, making it a greener alternative to traditional diesel trucks. With companies becoming more eco-conscious, could this be a turning point for the trucking industry? While the average consumer might want corporations to be more environmentally friendly and sustainable, the reality of it is that a lot of fleets that will adopt this new technology will do so only to get away from government regulations and the constant breakdown of new diesel trucks. For instance CARB or the California Air Resource Board just passed a regulation that states by 2035, Every California drayage vehicle, large trucks that move goods between ports, rail yards, and distribution centers, must be a zero-emission vehicle. From next year on, any trucking or shipping company that acquires a new truck is required to buy an electric model powered by batteries or hydrogen fuel cells. Diesel and semi-trucks are in fact greener than what they were 20 years ago. Of course the trade-off is that they do break down more often because of things added in the engines like EGR and DEF systems which chokes the engines. If electric trucks are anything like their four-wheeler counterparts then they will have less breakdowns and downtime. 
While the 0 to 60 in 5 seconds might seem like a cool feature it might actually be a liability. One of the biggest costs to fleet management of big rigs is tires. Also there could be a safety aspect depending on the individual driver in the cab. Now where the electric semis will excel is on the mountains, both going up and coming down. While some truck drivers will miss their loud Jake brakes the regenerative braking feature on mountain grades will be something they might not want to go without. So, is the Tesla Semi worth the hype? While it does come at a higher cost, the long-term benefits of reduced maintenance and emissions might just tip the scales in its favor. However, the charging infrastructure and overall adoption rate will play a crucial role in determining its success in the trucking industry. As technology evolves and more electric trucks hit the roads, we're excited to see how the trucking industry transforms. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting content. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.